can't keep it in the house, you know what I mean? I just want to say that this talk right here is going to be just about keeping it classy. That's why it's called Camp Kika. K-I-C-A. Keep it classy always. We make sure to keep always in there. You know what I mean? Because it's important. It's in every single second you're alive. Now, here's a great experiment you can do with your kid. If you have a kid that gets mad all the time, right? This is what you do. You do these series of acts with him where you tell him, listen, your sister's going to come now. She's going to take your iPad. She's going to run upstairs. She's going to hide it. Don't get upset. Then the sister will come. She'll take the iPad. And you'll see he'll be standing there. He won't really get upset. He'll let her take because he knows in the back of his mind he's going to get it back. Right? Right. Okay. But this will train him. You understand? To not get upset. To know that God is watching and God will fix it. Just like the mother can get it back when she did the deal with the sister to test him. Hashem can't do that? For sure he can. So that's exactly how it goes down. You have to understand you're in the middle of the test. And when you know the test is coming... That when you're prepared for the test, that's when you pass the test. You understand? That's what we're trying to teach you. So if I have a kid in my class that I know gets mad all the time over little things bother him. So I would tell him, okay, listen, Yaniv, we're going to test you right now. Shoshana's going to come. She's going to bang into your desk and your water is going to spill a little bit. All right. And we tell him that already before it happens. And then we tell Shoshana, go do it. And she does it. He's going to get mad. No. Why? Because he was prepared for the test. That's the secret. Be prepared for the test. You'll always keep it classy. Because keeping it classy, you could be in public out of nowhere. Somebody can ram their card into you, even though there's social distancing. and this, uh, He bangs the back of the metal card, and, and the front of the metal card into the back of your heel, right? Or into your, where your Achilles is. And leave, again, you're bleeding because he banged into you so hard. What are you going to do? You're going to go nuts, take the card and throw it on him? I promise you, I just saw a video of a guy who took a shopping cart to throw it at an employee. And I can't even explain to you what happened. He, the shopping cart, I don't know, twisted. His arm got stuck. And he was literally in a pretzel inside the shopping cart. And they just left him there. <laughs> now you're going to say that's karma. I won't even say the word karma. You know why? Because that was an idol. So I'm saying it now to teach you. Try not to use that word. Because that was the name of an idol. But that's exactly what it is. What goes around comes around. You're going to act like a nut and throw a shopping cart on somebody. If Hashem wants in a second, you'll slip and before you know it, you'll be inside that shopping cart stuck by your neck. You understand? That's real talk, man. I know you've seen it before, so it's not like you could say, oh, I'm making it up. I'm not. Be prepared for the test because it's always coming. You're going to find it. Every single day, you're going to have a little test here. You might stub your toe. You might this. You might go to fry something. It'll burn. I don't know. Things always happen. You know what I'm saying? So be prepared for the test. That's one. Two. Know that God is watching always. That will always help you keep it classy. Because you wouldn't start cursing and yelling and going nuts in front of your mother, even if you were 40 years old. Right? You have a little respect for your mom. Okay, so same thing with Hashem. Remember that, yo. Remember to keep your mouth closed. Don't get involved in everybody's business. You see a guy hitting his son, if he's about to kill him, yes, you can get up and say something. Maybe he gives him a little snap, a slap and bullies him a little bit. Don't get involved. Don't get involved. Why? Because you can get involved. This guy now will try to swing on you. It's not your business. You take a seat, you watch. If, God forbid, somebody's in trouble, of course you help. But I'm talking about something you see that's manageable, right? Don't say a word. If you know the person or you look at the person and you feel maybe like he's a humble person by looking at his face, that could help. But I'm telling you, sit back. Let Hashem know that you know that he's running the show and it will get handled. That's guaranteed. You know how I know it's guaranteed? Because I've seen it happen live. That's how I know. I was just telling somebody the other day about a story about this bully that was bullying this kid from across the street, saying mean things to him, teasing him about his mother. And the bully was like, and the kid that was getting bullied was like, leave me alone. And the guy goes, what? And he ran across the street to go punch him. And he, I don't know, tripped over the curb, fell, hit his face on the, on the pavement, broke a couple of teeth. You understand? When Hashem wants, he'll get involved. And if Hashem didn't get involved, that means you deserve to get bullied. Maybe you said you bullied somebody, now you're getting it back. Maybe Hashem is using you after a couple of times they bully you to punish them. I don't really know the calculations of Hashem. You'd have to ask Him. But the one thing I could tell you is that He's in control. If it happens, that means God allowed it. Nothing will happen unless He allows it. If you want to break Shabbat, you can break Shabbat. He'll allow it. Eventually, you have to pay for it. 
But if somebody's going to do somebody right now harm, let's say somebody's going to punch an old lady in the face, and she doesn't deserve to be punched in the face, no matter what you do to punch her in the face, she will not get punched in the face. You understand? Every time somebody would come up to her to punch her in the face, they get a heart attack. They get, God forbid, I don't even want to say, and die. You understand? Right away, Hashem would take them like that. That's just the way it goes, man. Know that God is running the show. Keep your mouth closed. Be prepared for the test. These are things that are going to help you to keep it classy all the time. Keeping it classy means talking with a low voice. Keeping it classy means always judging people favorably. Keeping it classy means staying away from unholiness. Keeping it classy means watching the way you speak. Be modest the way you dress and the way you speak. That's for men and women. You understand? For everybody. Keeping it classy is a way of life. That's why I got a camp called Camp Kika. To teach people to keep it classy always. God is watching. Don't get it twisted. Like I told somebody the other day, what, you think because you have an iPhone that records things? You don't think God could record things? If you have it, for sure he has it. So you being recorded every second. It's like an audit. You understand? You will be audited on that recording. Remember that for eternity. And always try your best to behave right. Do kindness to others. And be a good person that will serve you well when you leave this world. That I can guarantee. You know why? Because nobody lost from doing the word of God. And the word of God is to keep it classy always. 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 To your wife. To your husband. To your child. To your teacher. To your student. To everybody you see. May God give you the strength. To always keep it classy. To always put a reminder in your head. To be prepared for the test. And to keep your mouth closed. And know that God is going to handle it for you. Like I like to say, more trust, less effort. You know what I mean? That's God right there. Lean on Him. Put your stress on Him. Do the best you can. Try your best to be righteous. And leave the rest up to Him. Amen. I love you, Hashem.